Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy. Today we're going to learn how to apply gradients and I'll tell you a little bit about them. So gradients are going from one color to another or going from one color to several and blending the way in between. And uh, gradients are used all the time in art and graphics and all that stuff. So it's a good idea to know how to use them. So we're going to start out. Just go ahead and make a square. And I'm going to put this back onto what it was, to some, some color. And I'm just going to go ahead and create my square. And the other thing I'm going to create is a line segment. And this line segment is only going to have a stroke on it. And that's what we got there. Okay. All right. So now what we need to do is just go ahead and apply our new gradient that we want to use. So we go into the swatches panel. Make sure your object is selected. Go into the swatches panel. And then you might have some gradients already on here. If you do, you can go ahead and select one of those. And it'll create one of those. Or you can go into the gradient library. Click on this button here on the bottom left of the swatches panel, and then come down to gradients, and then you got a whole bunch of things that you can use. So let's go to something like metals. You can click on this to get some different metal color, and so on. Now there is a gradients panel, which is right here. If I click on that, I get some more options for my gradient. I can choose to use the fill or the stroke as a gradient. And since this box has no stroke on it, I'm going to have to use fill. I'm going to click I can click on the gradient. I've got gradient type here, linear or radial. And then I've got my angle. I can change the angle if I want to. And then right here is reverse gradient, and then I'll just switch the gradient back and forth. Let's select our line segment here that's only a, basically a stroke. I'll put this gradient on there. What I'm going to have to do is switch to here to the stroke. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and apply one of the swatches to it. Now I've got my gradient on there. I can go down to my gradients panel and start messing around in here with the stroke. Now we've got a couple different things here. We've got apply gradient within stroke, apply gradient along stroke, or apply gradient across stroke. So if you click on these, they could do certain things, but it's not really in this one. If I apply a stroke to this, we might be able to see it a little better. So I just made a huge stroke, and you can see that the gradient is working differently the way I click these strokes here. So the next thing that we can check out is how we create our own gradients. You can do this in this gradient panel here. So I'm going to try to see if I can make this a little bigger. Yep, there we go. So that way we can see it better. And what you're going to do is we're on this gradient slider. You can move these sliders over to move where the gradient colors are. If I double click on the color, I can go ahead and change it if I need to. There's purple. Then I double click on this one and I can maybe make that purple. And I should be able to switch these. Yep. And that's how you create your gradients. If you have one of these and you don't want it on there, just click and hold on it and pull it off and it'll come off. So I could pull these off if I wanted to. And now I've just got a straight gradient going on there. If I want to add more colors, you see the mouse turns into a plus, it has a plus sign next to it. If I click that, it's going to add a spot where I can add another color in there. And there I can do it. Now we've got these little uh, diamonds at the top. If I click those and move them around, 
it's going to increase the amount of color that I'm getting from one side or the other. If I move it to the right, more purple is going to dominate the gradient. If I move it to the left, left less purple and more orange brown is going to dominate the gradient. Same with this side. So maybe I only want just like some small line here in the middle. That's how I can do it. So that's how you go ahead and create your gradients. We learned how to use the library of gradients up here. So there's gonna there's a whole bunch of gradients that you can use. And then we can pick gradients from the swatches and apply them. And I don't know, that's pretty much it. Using gradients is uh, pretty cool. And see if there's anything else I should go over. Oh, and I can't forget that we probably want to show you the gradient tool, which is right here, and the hotkey is G. Click on that, then you want to go into view real quick and make sure that this says, you want it to say hide gradient, gradient annotator. Um, you want it because that way it's going to show. So click on the gradient that you want to edit, and then the gradient annotator will come up. Now it's just like using the... Uh, gradient editor that we looked at before. You can drag this here to make uh, to move the part of the gradient and move the colors around. And we've got the squares here where we can increase the color. These are kind of like the diamonds. We can move the gradient using these edges here. We can Hover over the right side here, and when it turns into a box, we can drag and it'll make the gradient smaller. And if we, when it turns into a circular, we can move the gradient so it slants or whatever we're doing there. So that's how you use the gradient tool. It's uh, handy, pretty cool. Now you guys know all about using it. You can use it on stroke. You can use it on fill. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and learned some new stuff. And otherwise, you guys have a great day.